In this video, we're just going to take a quick look at breaking vectors down into components. As I mentioned in class, this is the big secret of physics, that if you can do this, that it will greatly simplify what you're able to do uh, for the rest of the year. You don't have to use the law of cosines or anything weird like that uh, that you may have learned in your, your pre-calc class. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to take this vector and we're trying to break it up into what we call the X and Y components. Now you guys noticed in your lab that was one of the things that we learned that if you break it up into X's and Y's and add them together in the end you get the same result as if you go ahead and add every single vector together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break it up so that we have an X piece and so that we have a Y piece. Okay. Now it should be fairly obvious to you now that this is a right triangle. And since it's a right triangle, then we can use trig to find the length of these other two sides. Okay? So let's start off with the x component. Okay? We're just going to call this vector a. Okay? So we're going to start off with the x component which is right here. And so using trig, I have the hypotenuse and I want the adjacent side. So remembering our secret word from trig, so ka toa, suck your toe, okay? Then we can find with the adjacent and the hypotenuse, that's cosine. So the cosine of 43 is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so if I type that into my calculator, then we will get that we'll take the cosine of 43. So we'll go 43 cosine. So that's cosine of 43. Now this is x divided by 10. So to get x by itself, I've got to do the opposite. And I've got to multiply that by 10. And my result is that the x component of vector a, so vector a x component, is equal to 7.31, okay, or 7.3. All right, meters, of course, because that's my units. Now I can do the exact same thing with the y-axis, right? And so to do the y-axis, I'm going to need to use sine. So the sine of 43 is equal to the y component divided by 10, opposite over hypotenuse. So again, I'm going to take the sine of 43, multiply it by 10, and that will give me the answer. So let's take 43. We'll take the sine of it, and then we will multiply by 10, and our answer is 6.8. So the A vector Y component is 6.8 meters. Now hold on, you say. You tell me that these two don't add together to get 10. Well, yeah, that's right, because we talked about in our lab that 1 plus 1 doesn't necessarily equal 2 anymore, does it? Okay, we're going to add these two together, but we're adding the vectors. Remember, we're going to have to use Pythagorean theorem, and so it will give us something smaller than the sum of those two. Okay, so this has been broken down into two vectors. I'm going to do this other one. Uh, I'm going to do it a little bit quicker. Okay, so we'll talk through it. We will break this up into our x and y components really quickly. So there's my x and y components. There's my right angle. Okay. Now in this case, I need to do a little bit of math first. I need to do 180 minus 112, which will give me 68 degrees. Okay. So now that I have this being 68 degrees, I should be able to f do my trig to get the x and y components. Let's start with the x component. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of 68 equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. When I do that on my calculator, I'll do 68 cosine. So there's cosine of 68, and I'll multiply by 13. And so I've got 4.9. So this will be vector B. So vector B, the x component is 4.9 meters per second. 
and then let's go ahead and do the Y and I'm actually going to go ahead and change for that one so let's do the Y and so for that I need this sine of 68 which is equal to Y over 13 right opposite over hypotenuse and so when I do that in my calculator I will do 68 take the sine multiply by 13 because that's Y divided by 13 and I get 12.1 so B in the Y direction is 12.1 meters per second. So hopefully that was helpful in helping you figure out exactly how to break it up into components.